So I want to give you a quick little tutorial here on some general things about the new Smart Music. This is the Teacher Edition, and the Teacher Edition is actually very, very cool. On my desktop currently, I've got some assignments that I recently assigned my kids. I've got some recent documents that I composed within Smart Music, and I've got my classes. There's my older kids and my beginners. And I can ex access all of that very easily. Um, over on the right hand side, I've got access to all my method books. There's so many in there. Band and orchestra music. There's a sight reading part. There's also exercises such as scales, rhythm studies. Uh, there's a solo section. There's things for choir things for small ensemble and jazz improvisation. And I'm going to go today into the band and orchestra just to kind of show you how this works. So now we are in band and orchestra. And within the band and orchestra, I have 5,562 pieces of music that I could choose from up here in the right hand corner. I can select if I want concert band, jazz band pieces, string or orchestra, or full orchestra. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the concert band for now. And if we come back to the right hand corner I can see that's limiting me to 3,000 and that's funny I'm saying limiting because that is so not limiting. That is a lot of concert band music. And I'm going to come over because I'm looking for something specific for my kids. So I'm going to come down here to the difficulty. And we're looking for beginning band music. So I'm going to click on beginning band music. And when I come back up, now that 3,000 has gone down to 151 beginning band pieces of music. They're listed in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, I can see that it's for various instruments because this is for concert band. It lists the composer and I can also change this so that this becomes um, in alphabetical order. So if I'm looking for a specific composer, I can find that a lot easier. It also lists the publishing house, so you know where you can order this music from. And I do like that it shows me the difficulty level. So when you have a green, green is usually beginning or very easy. So it's more for fourth, fifth, sixth grade. I can also come to the search bar and I can type in a specific piece. I don't even have to hit the enter button and it's already looking for the piece that I want. When I open the piece of music, it's going to show me the instrumentation, all the instruments that are in there, publishing company, who the composer was, and it's telling me what level it is beginning. And that's kind of nice to be able to just go and do that search. So that's how I find pieces of music. I'll type on the difficulty level. I'll click in the box for beginning. Uh, if there's specific instruments or a specific genre and concert band, and then I can go and I can I can just go and look for that. So that's pretty much how to go and find music practice or play or just preview and demo in the new smart music.